We have one goal here, and that's to keep Colorado football relevant from when this game came out, 2002, 2003, all the way up to 2002, 2003 in the game, all right? So 20 years, and we are in year number five, gonna go up to year number 10. We're losing one of our best recruits, Kevin Lewis. He's going pro, had a fabulous season, 9,000 yards total in his career. Trey Thompson finally got on the field, had a great season, over 1,200 yards, 14 touchdowns. He's gonna take it to the pros as well. Then we're going to be losing some of our mainstays, receiver 81, receiver 87. Those are the last guys that, you know, were like, you know, freshmen when we started this because everybody else has real names. Well, not real names, but have names because in this game, everybody is receiver 81, a halfback, number one, so on and so forth. Our recruiting class, fabulous. Three five-star recruits, quarterback, halfback, and receiver trying to get our triplets on. Do you know what I am saying? Burnett, he is also there as a quarterback. He's more of an athlete. Hopefully, we can register him, and maybe he can separate himself at some moment in time and be our starting quarterback, but who knows because our quarterback room is starting to fill up because when we started this, we were heavy on the ground. Now that we have, you know, kind of transitioned to more of a passing team, at least a pass-first team, our passing numbers have increased, and now we're getting more quarterbacks at our disposal, and therefore we want to open it up just a little bit. We basically got everybody that we wanted, except for middle linebacker. Middle linebackers are not messing with the Colorado Buffaloes as of right now. We got to turn that around. Southern Miss, they get the top halfback. Tennessee gets the top left outside linebacker. Pitt, they get the best left guard. Deep tackle going to TCU. He's the number one tackle in the nation. Middle linebacker going to Michigan. I've been trying to get him. I was like, I know you You do not want to come to Colorado. That's not what you're trying to do. And he wasn't. He's going to be going to Michigan playing this football there. So we did have the top three recruiting class. That is a good look. Three five stars, 11 four stars, 20 total recruits. That is a solid look. For us, Miami and Michigan were ahead of us. Texas A&M cracks the top 10. So does Nebraska. So the Big 12 still represent solidly. So we are playing good right now. We are 6-0. Could we get to a national title? We got there in year number one, but we lost to Florida. And we missed out on a perfect season, obviously. We still want a perfect season, and we still want a national title. Can we beat Oklahoma? The game is in Colorado. We're ranked number two when we lose to Oklahoma. But Oklahoma will start losing basically after that game, and we continue to win. So we have one more game left. We beat Texas Tech, beat Missouri. Now we're going to be taking on Nebraska, and we beat them 33-16. So we have made it back to the Big 12 Championship. Joe Wright looking good. Looking good, 4,100 yards passing, 41 of them things. So can we beat Texas A&M and get to a big-time bowl game and win another Big 12 championship as of right now? <laughs> like, no, you cannot. That pass is caught. Mark Nichols put that thing on a dot, and that's going to be a touchdown for Texas A&M. They come right back, and they're still scoring touchdowns. So our defense can't breathe. We can't get off the ropes. Joel Wright, please be our hero. We're down 14. That pass caught. And we're moving inside Texas A&M territory. Third down to five. From the 30. We're going to fire that thing. That pass caught by Downs. It's a touchdown. We're down by just seven. Our defense gets the ball back. Under two minutes to go. On the run, we throw it. That pass is caught. Inside the 40, we're marching. Now we're inside the 10. We throw it. That pass caught by Hogan. Touchdown, Colorado. So the game is tied up at 14 off. Third down and 10. Under a minute to go. Texas A&M. They're not playing for overtime. They're going for the whole enchilada. But that pass falls is incomplete. Now look, they're giving the game ball to Gates already, but this thing is not over. What about Joe Wright for MVP? That pass, it's caught. Hogan again down the seam. Now we're looking towards our freshman, Tony Pollard. He coming through with a big catch and we're inside the 20. 10 seconds ago, we throw it to the back of the end zone. Banks makes the catch. Touchdown and number two survives. So coming back down from 14, not at the win, 21 to 14, scoring three straight touchdowns. I love it. We got Coach Deer for the second time in this rebuild. Not only that, we got Receiver Deer with Banks, and then Joel Wright, he wins Quarterback of the Year. Jerry Medina, he is a sophomore halfback for Boise State, and he wins the highest. But we're taking on Utah and Colorado. And these teams are not in the same conference, right? We're still in the Big 12. You feel me? And Utah is nowhere near the Pac-10 slash Pac-12. Not going to happen. So, second quarter action, third down and 14. Joe Route has time, and Joe Wright throws that thing, and Banks is loose. 
Banks to the 20. Banks gets caught from behind. And Joe Wright put that thing on the dock. Gonna find Banks again. How you gonna leave the best receiver wide open? You're going to engage, Jay. You're going to blitz everybody in their mama. That's not a good look. We drive back down the field. We get a touchdown right there. Now, Utah would not be done. They're not going to go down without a fight, all right? So, Emerson, he's going to fire that thing, and that pass is going to be caught by Christensen, and Utah's trying to come back. Last chance to dance for them. Five seconds on the clock. They got to get into the end zone. They throw this thing deep, and it's going to fall incomplete, and that is going to do it. 14-7 is the final. We win the national championship. Do you feel me? I know you do. All right? I know you do. So we done did it. We had our recruiting class blossom into who we thought they could be. And in six years, 70 and 12, a national championship birth, a national championship victory. Joe Wright, he's going pro. Walton, he's going pro. Gardner, he's going pro. Banks, he's leaving us as a senior. I mean, hey. Our recruiting classes are coming through in a major way. So Lamar Burke, he's going to be our starter moving forward. We have Reynolds at halfback. Uh, Downs, he's there as well. Hogan, he coming back for another year. 87 overall. Left tackle is 87 overall. Left guard, 92 overall. I'm not going to say this team is just as talented as the national championship team that we just saw. Because we lose the best quarterback in the nation. We lose the best receiver in the nation. Not going to be as good unless we are like Alabama or something like that. And we just reload. Hopefully we could be that. Defensive line, it's okay. Linebacker court, a little iffy. A little iffy at linebacker. So we're going to try to make some things work. Dunlap, I got love for you. But I just don't think you're the right guy for the job with 63 overall speed. That's not what I'm looking for. You understand? All right. So Porter, John Porter, 94 overall, 73 overall speed. Right outside linebacker. I'm loving that. Our corners, not the fastest. Our top two, not the fastest at 85 overall speed. But they can get the job done, hopefully, man. So let's move on. Colorado State get the business yet again. San Diego State get the business. And then Louisville comes to town for our home opener. Our first home game when we drop it. Could this be a down year? No, we're going to beat Texas. That's always good. Got to beat Texas. Then we beat Kansas. Texas A&M gets dealt with. We go on a win streak like we want to believe. Do you see this? But now we got mighty, mighty Nebraska, the Cornhuskers. They love to run the football. They would run the ball, but not great versus us. That's right. Not great versus us. So we are ranked number five. Might not be a national championship year, but maybe we can, you know, leapfrog some teams with a good strong versus Texas A&M again. And now our quarterback is Lamar Burks. So let's see what he can do for us. He's going to throw that thing up top, and that pass will be caught. Move those chains. Second down and 10, the left-handed quarterback throwing that thing over the middle. That pass going to be caught. Move those chains yet again. That was Hogan coming through with another catch. And then we get down to the one. Tony Pollard doing his thing. And then we go up the gut, and Reynolds gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Colorado Buffalo. And we love taking Texas A&M to the cleaners in the Big 12 championship game. Can we do it here? Yes, we can. Tony Pollard, sophomore receiver, coming through with a big catch there. Going over the middle. That pass caught by Big Tony yet again. That's going to be a touchdown. You feel me? And that's going to do it. 14 not a we blanket them. And we get another quarterback of the year. Lamar, how does it feel? We did not get the highs, but that's okay. It goes to Pete Bryan of uh, the Terrapins of uh, Maryland, and that's all right. So we're going to the Tostitas Fiesta Bowl, taking on Boise State. They still have Medina. Medina won the Heisman last year, and he won Offensive MVP this year, even though he did not win the Heisman, believe it or not. So, hey, crazier things have happened. Lamar going to throw this one deep, and that pass caught Tony Pollard is different. I'm telling you, this guy is different. Looking downfield, that pass will be caught. So, Boise State not going down without a fight. Ethan Black throws a touchdown pass, and it's 7-7 going into that second half of play. Fourth quarter now, under three minutes ago, still tied up at 7-7. That pass going to be caught, and we're going to move those chains. Looking downfield, Lamar going to roll to the right side, throws it. That pass caught by Mr. Hogan, and our tight end's coming through in a major way. Reynolds, he gets boxed in, though, and we got set up for a field goal on fourth and eight. So the kick is up, and the kick is good. So we're up by three, but Boise State, they got plenty of time to drive down the field. We're going to see what they can do. Black throws that thing. That pass caught, but shy of the first down marker. And that is going to do it. And usually you always bet on black, but not today. You got to bet on the guys wearing black. And we win the Fiesta Bowl in 2009. Texas A&M, they will fall to Tennessee in the Cotton Bowl. Uh, Virginia Tech, they will lose to Georgia Tech. And then 
Ohio State. We, we got to meet Ohio State. We Like, Ohio State's that team. We got to meet them. So, Burke, he is going to be going to the pros. So is Reynolds. We're going to miss out on Downs. He's graduating. And so is Carter. So, some of our better guys are leaving. But our recruiting class looking good. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five. But six five stars. And Hendrick runs a 4-3. He's going to come in as our fastest running back in this rebuild from year one to year now fastest running back in the rebuild burnett he's there but but martin he's the better he's the better quarterback so he's going to start i'm like yo i like hendrix 97 overall speed i want to see what he can do for us maybe i'm jumping the gun with him but i want to see what he can do with us fullback 98 overall absolutely filthy knox filthy tony coming into his junior season as the number one receiver on the roster our O-line looking good as well. Titan was looking good as well, too. But look at these numbers. 99 overall right guard. Sweeney, he is back for his redshirt senior season. I love it. So defense, defense O-line, defense events, not the greatest. But we got to give these guys a chance to develop. But we might not be national championship ready every single year. But again, the goal was to be relevant. And I think we're doing that. Well, I think we're doing that. In our first six to seven seasons, two national championship appearances, we've been in major bowl games almost every single season. So, hey, if it was the playoffs, we would probably be a fringe playoff team to a playoff team every single year. So, you see what we're doing. We're starting off the year 3-0, and got a game versus Marshall, and we beat them. Now it's time for Texas. And Texas might be slightly better, but we're higher ranked. They, their defense is an A, ours is an A-, minus. everything else is even. Their numbers are better. And the number in the score column is better than ours. So they beat us. We go 10-1. and one. Then we meet Nebraska and we lose to them. So we go 10-2. and two. So this is a down year for us, obviously. We did not make it to the Big 12 Championship. It was Nebraska taking on Texas. Texas would get the job done. Auburn got beat down by uh, Tennessee in that SEC title game. Jeff Black, he is your Heisman winner. We're going to be taking on Penn State in the Alamo Bowl. Um, yeah, and Jeff Black went crazy. 2,700 yards rushing, 39 TDs. Cheat code to say the least. Maryland is number one. Tennessee is number two. Texas is number three. Illinois is number four. Look at these numbers. Wisconsin up in there. Oklahoma just outside the top ten. Nebraska, they're number 15. We're number 16. So the Big 12 is still represented fairly well, but not like it was in like year two, three, four, and five. We would be like, we were thick up in the Big 12. I mean, thick up in the top 25 as a Big 12 organization as a conference so we beat penn state we win the alamo bowl 29 to 15 texas they would lose to utah usc they would beat wisconsin and then in the national championship game tennessee would beat maryland they finished 13 and 0 we're still waiting for our perfect season so this is the first time that is nothing but seniors leaving us in a long while so, hey, we got some recruiting to do, but we also still have some guys coming back. So, our recruiting class, not that great because we had a bunch of guys coming back, only eight recruits, but three of them are five stars, four of them are four stars, and we have one three star guy. We went 11 and 2 last season, want to turn that around. Right now, we are ranked number 16 in the nation. And then Hendricks, what did he do last year? Absolutely nothing. So maybe he was the reason why we lost all those games. I'm just joking. It's a team sport. I would never say that. Martin, he's still better than Burnett, but it's close. But Martin is still that guy that came in, in the, at the same recruiting class, in the same recruiting class. Uh, roster, again, looking good. Our, our tight end room, thick. O-line, left guard needs a little bit of work. Right guard, maybe a little bit of work, too. We lost Sweeney. Obviously, we're going to take a step back. He was 99 overall. D-line, though, looking better than last year. Linebacker core coming together quite nicely. DB room looking good as well. Mays is a freshman at 82 overall. Hendricks, he will get registered for his sophomore season. And now we are 7-0. Ranked number 5 in the nation, taking on number 24, Oklahoma. It is in Norman, though. It is in Norman. And the crowd got to us. And we lose by 14. But it was early in the season. Oklahoma's still one of the better teams in the nation. We go and we win every other game after that. So we are now 11-1, ranked number four, taking on number nine, Oklahoma, and we are the better team. That's why that loss to them, it was on the road. I get it, but that hurt. It hurt. We're ranked number four. Tennessee's number one. Ohio State's number two. Maryland is number three. Oklahoma's number nine. Texas A&M and Texas are 10 and 11. Nebraska's in the top 
15. So the Big 12 still represented pretty good. Let's go take on Oklahoma. Let's get our revenge. Big 12 championship game. When we get here, we typically win this game when we get here. And we are here yet again. Okay, Marvin Martin, 29 touchdown passes. Can he add to that total? I hope he can. Takes a big hit right there, but moves to change. Second quarter action now. We still got the football going to throw that thing at Tony Ballard, and he is in the end zone. Ballard, you feel me? Third down and six are going to fire this one. That pass caught, and here comes the Oklahoma Sooners putting the drive together and marching down the football field. That pass going to be intercepted, though. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Daryl Randall steps in front of that pass, and we got this thing going back the other way. Start the second half. Going to run the rock. Mama, we got a running back. That's Scott Thomas. Not the fastest guy, but he is the higher overall guy, and he's showing you why right there. Tony Baller makes the catch right there. Third, nine, third down and nine. Looking downfield. That pass caught. Touchdown, Keller. Glenn Keller coming through. Second down and 10 for Oklahoma. Their quarterback trying to find somebody open, and Howard Lindsey will. He's going to find Smith. So Chuck Smith hauls it in. But we got Thomas, who's loose, down that left sideline. He's not going to run away from you. Only 80 overall speed, but he will find the lane, hit that thing hard, and get as many yards as he possibly can. We're going to find Keller again. Our quarterback is hot. Eminem, Marvin Martin coming through. Then we get the ball to Thomas. He gets inside the five, milking the clock. As far as we can, we got to set up for a field goal. Kick us up. Kick us good. They're down by two scores. They got 10 seconds on the clock. That pass falls incomplete, and we got our revenge versus number nine, Oklahoma. So John Smith, he is your Heisman winner, another running back from the University of Maryland doing their thing. Tony Pollard. Ballard, excuse me. He is the best receiver in the nation. Walton missed out on defensive MVP and best linebacker. Morales, he is fifth in the best D lineman category. We will beat Washington in the Rose Bowl. They were unranked. I figured that we would do that. 14 to, well, I mean, 41 to 13, I believe, was the final. And we got a new contract. Thomas, he's going pro. Morales going pro. Lot, he is going pro as well. So is Dunlap, who I was kind of questioning, but he came, I mean, he came through. Dunlap, I see you. He's good enough to go pro, he believes. Everybody else is a senior, and everybody else is leaving us. So we got some more spots that we have to fill, and we filled them. Nine five stars, nine five stars, ten four stars, one two star. That two star probably get cut just because you have to make cuts. If you didn't have to make cuts, you can be on the team and we will help you develop. But we got to cut some people, all right? So we even had to cut, I believe we had to cut our quarterback, Burnett. We had to let him go because, again, we could only have so many guys on the roster. This 55, he's a red shirt senior. Our starting quarterback is a red shirt senior. He's not going to see the field. I wish that he would, but he's just not. I would tell that man to transfer. Hit the portal. Hit the portal. Hit the portal. Okay? Hit the portal, bro. But no, nah, it didn't happen. O-line looking freakishly good. This right here is a national championship caliber team. This right here, not just national. This is a perfect season caliber team. Look at these numbers. Look at these numbers. We can do it. We can do it. Put together a good game plan. Get out there and handle business, y'all. Y'all can do it. I believe in you. Coach Deion Dawkins will lead y'all to the promised land. And then we met Colorado State. And Colorado State is like, nah. We lose to Colorado State in week number one. The first time in this dynasty we have lost to them. I don't know how many times they played in real life, and I can guarantee you Colorado beat their butts more times than not. Anyway, since that moment in time, we have won out. We have won 11 games in a row, and now can we beat Texas A&M yet again? Now the guy is James Dudley. James Dudley is up for the Heisman. Will he win it? I don't know. I don't know. All I do know is we got to beat Texas a and And we're coming through with Marvin Martin throwing nothing but strikes out there, faking it. The defense got a bite. That's a Heisman caliber running back in the backfield. We throw that thing. That pass going to be caught. Move those chains. That was McKee coming through with the catch. McKee coming through with another catch. Now it's going to be first and goal. A perfect drive ends with a touchdown. And we're up 7-0. We will get the football again. We will shut them down on defense. And we will score. Yeah. Bubba. Frederick is a quarterback, Texas A&M. He, he, he did not stand a chance, okay? He just did not. James Dudley wins the Heisman. We get our first Heisman Trophy winner. This should have been a national championship senior. But we do get to face Ohio State, just not in the natty. Not in the natty. So that does suck. I ain't going to lie. That does 
suck. But we got some trophies. Trophy case is filling up too bad in this game. They do not have an actual trophy case. You go look back at all the things you done did. But number four, taking on number five, Colorado taking on the Ohio State University. Tempe, Arizona will be the host for this monumental matchup between the Colorado Buffaloes and the Ohio State Buckeyes. Two teams I like to get physical, as you can see right there. In the third quarter, it's 3-0. Ohio State is on top. Put those fours in the air like they used to do back in the day. And here we go. Can we drive down the field with our quarterback, Marvin Martin? He's going to hand that thing off. That's a good look to the Heisman Trophy winner. And the Heisman Trophy winner will pick up a decent game right there. We're going to fire that thing into a crowd. And that crowd got parted like the Red Sea as we make that catch. That pass caught. And we're loose down the sideline. Number 11 is now Glenn Keller who was rocking 87. Now number 11 had to change it up. Okay, he just had to. He felt like 11 had more swag. Anyways, going to fire this one. That pass caught. Touchdown. Marvin Martin. Leading drives that lead to miracles and dreams being true. That pass is caught. Ohio State stopped hating and trying to drive down with less than 30 seconds on the clock and win this thing and steal this thing from the Colorado Buffalo. That pass caught down inside the 10. They go fourth and goal. Frank Thompson throws it to the end zone and he can't find his receiver like sometimes Clay Thompson can't find the rim. And that is going to do it. Colorado 13 and 1. 2012 Fiesta Bowl winners. So we have 10 more years left, y'all. How will this thing turn out? Make sure y'all come back to see how this thing ends. All right? Make sure you come back now. You, you, you come back now, you hear? We've been doing some good things. 119 and 17 in nine full seasons. That's stupid. Nine winning season, 14 game is our longest win streak. Fabulous. One national title five conference title hope you guys enjoyed the video hope the rest of the day is the best today peace love awesome.